Right, in this video we're going to show you a hack to double the frequency of any bevel frame dome. It only works with bevel frames but it's a super easy way to uh, turn a 2 frequency into a 4 frequency or a 3 frequency into a 6 frequency or even a 4 frequency into an 8 frequency and it doesn't require any fancy uh, angle cutting, reorganizing, rejigging. You can just take your standard 3 frequency and bosh it into a 6 fre frequency dome. That means you can take the 3 frequency and you can build it a lot bigger. Um, I was going to show you in the workshop but I've got no bits of wood at the minute. So what we'll do is I'll jump onto the computer and show you how this works. Okay, what we've got here is a colour-coded version of the GD15 that I sell on the GDOME website. Uh, its basic layout is two triangles. This red one with a grey bottom and this green one with a grey bottom. The grey bottom on both is the same. So this is your standard GD15 plans. Now this is a three frequency. You can tell it's a three frequency because you've got from pentagon center to pentagon center you've got three parts one two three that what's that's what makes this a three frequency dome so what we want to do is if we wanted to build this bigger these triangles would become larger and larger and larger uh, which at a, at a given point they become too large to support the cover material so you you have to go up a frequency but what if we can cheat a little bit and make this a double the frequency of this to make much larger domes but what we don't want to do is uh, have to recalculate um, mess about have different hub joints everything we just take the exact geometry from here and try and uh, double it uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put a upside down triangle inside this frame Okay, we've done the red one. Let's do the green one. Let's have a look and see what that's done to the dome. See how, how that's that's effectively double the frequency. Now there are some caveats. Let me just walk you through them. This joint is has a dihedral angle, but it's not like a node. This is like a, they all angle from each other away. Uh, and if this was a true six frequency there would be a bend in this, uh, there would be a node here instead of this straight through with, with um, arms off of it. So, in effect, what we're doing is it's everything just like a three frequency dome and it's added to the strength. But what this does is this is actually stronger than a six, six frequency with full nodes. If this was a full node, the dihedral angle drops across the whole dome so instead of having a, a uh, let me just think it's about a six and a half degree dihedral angle which is not much to be honest it would drop to like three and a half uh, uh, 3.2 something like that uh, and what happens when the dihedral drops if you if you press on a node uh, you get, it's more likely to invert so it reduces the um, likelihood of node inversion um, it is super simple. Uh, if you were to do this uh, as a six frequency, you would have uh, a huge array. And rather than having um, this added and that added, you would have, a, um, I'm trying to work out how many different um, uh, strut lengths there are on a six frequency. Uh, and all of the nodes would have to be recalculated. All of the dihedral angles would need to be recalculated as well. Um, rather than just simply whacking in, 
a noggin and turning your three frequency dome into a six frequency dome so now from th from this point you could scale that right up um, and build a much bigger dome with hardly any extra work uh, this is ideal for places with high snow load uh, where, where, where you want to build a bigger three frequency dome whether you've got an existing dome and you found that it's not really strong enough uh, so there's loads of uses for this method to increase the frequency it has all the advantages of a six frequency but none of the disadvantages of complexity and load inversion okay thanks for watching uh, if you've got any questions drop them in the comments below uh, and i'll see you in the next one